Hey there, YouTube. Poke Walkthrough 6 here, and welcome to Pokemon Soul Silver Walkthrough Adventure Part 60. Yay! Alright, let's get down to business. Um, for my sixth team member, I sort of uh, went through. I actually made it to Blackthorn City. I did not um, battle any of the trainers on Route 44. I avoided that, and um, I went to Blackthorn City, and south of Blackthorn City in the route, there's a 5% chance. I could get a Skarmory. Now, I was debating between Skarmory or the legendary U Lugia. The reason why I was debating was because with Lugia, I'll give you kind of a spoiler alert, it's level 45 when you when you are gonna first acknowledge it here at, at the um, Johto region. Um, but Skarmory, you know, I don't really do legendaries all that much, only in third gen, because of, um, not really much good fire types there, except for Groudon, Ruby version, but that's the only le legendary I use, um, I was really debating, but I finally made a decision, it's not Skarmory, I, reason why is because why you know train it and um you know get it up all all the way and um you know it's why train it and battle it and you can use the experience for my the rest of my five so instead of skarmory i just have it there for fly just temporarily until i get luya um so that's basically it um and plus in the elite four um you're gonna have a fighting type of a late four sort of something, so I'll, that's why I'm using Lugia as Psychic Flying. It kind of just fits there. So, unfortunately, Skarmory is not in our team. I was really debating. Um, plus, it's kind of late late in the game. So, yeah. But, anyway, onward to east. Finally, we're going east. And here's our first battle. Sorry for the talking, I just had to like clear that up. Anyway, Psychic Phil can send at level 27 not to. Not to, or not not to. That is the question. Dabra. Ghost. Oh, you ball sucker. <laughs> Shocking loss, you're a psychic. Man, you don't use electric types. Tisk tisk. Anyway. Now you're gonna be um, at a decision. Oh here's a max repel for you. You're gonna be at a split decision here, literally. So I'm just gonna show you the up way. You can go get a red apricorn there. I I'm, I'm not really doing that because it's not really worth it. Um I'm gonna go with Amphros on this one. And if you go one more step further that way, there's going to be a trainer right here. He's going to spot you and you're going to battle him. But I just took, took it easy on this one. Anyway, Fishman Walton going to have two level 26 goldings. Happy day. Bye-bye. 
Also, he has a level 28 Sea King. What do you do? So I have a pen here. Because I was uh, kind of, you know, like, desperately trying to take down notes as fast as I could. Forget about it. In fact, oh yeah, once you're done battling him, you'll, um, just in case he finds anything in the water that he fishes out, he'll call you and he'll give it to you. Give it to you. And before you go any further, I'm, luckily I was about to, but, because this guy's going to have a pretty good Rhyhorn waiting for you, and we all know Ampharos won't do crap against that one. Anyway, Maniac's not gonna have a little 30 ride horn, like I said before. Well, I didn't say the level, but you get the point. Damn it. I knew I was gonna survive that. Alright, whatever. And that is actually going to do it for the- oh no, wait a second. Hopefully. Keep going, keep going. And there is going to be an item somewhere right here. Pick up an Ultra Ball there. It's very visible, but... Right there. And get an Elixir. And not one for my levels. But anyway, um, surf down here. We're actually going to get a very good item. In fact, a very great item. And there's the item. Oh, uh, that's terrible. You can get like a bunch of weird Pokemon here. Mm. You know what? I'm gonna use Ospin. Might as well take it down. I mean, I'm right there. Alright. Get a max revive there. And continue on over here. This is actually like a shortcut, because you, know, you just go around, but going around for the gates. You can simply just do that. See? We're back to where we started. Let's see, what can we do? Nah. I thought about it. Anyway, talk to the fisherman here, and he's gonna have, I believe, yep, two level 28 Remoraids. I'm so glad I'm, uh, I'm, I'm uh, to have 15 minutes in this, on my videos now, because chances are, I'm probably just, I've eaten, like, my other videos, if I would have done this route, I would have been like, no, it's like a limit cap. Anyway, coming to the Ace Trainer here, switching to Umbreon now. I had my notes on I wonder. Up. Oh, and if you go on top and pass through, you're going to get stopped by a really long trainer. It's kind of a name Sybil. She was down at level 29, Mary. Big stick. Yeah, 
let's go with her. Let's have flowers. It'll do for me. <laughs> and now the final ace trainer right here. She's gonna start off with a level 29 Charmeleon. Stop me, eat on. And I'm pretty sure this one will get it. It'll get Umber to level 36. Doesn't I'm gonna be pissed. Alright. Oh, that's even good better. I was about to say gooder. Fight's pretty much gone now. I can have quick attack and dig for my like physical attacks. I have faint attack and shadow ball for that. For my specials. So, yay for me. Oh, uh, he's gonna send out a level 29 Magnemite next, so I'm gonna switch to Tech Legion. Simple Waffle Clone, he's dead. Yes, it is. Uh, I'm not answering. Now. <laughs> That's weird. I really thought there was gonna be like a um, hidden item somewhere. Nevertheless, I switched to Amphros for the final battle in round 44, and this guy uses flying types. Who does know about the legendary bird Pokemon? Seriously. I'm gonna sound out Hoot Hoot level 28. The Thunder Punch a bit. And the last Pokemon he has is Pidgeotto level 28. Discharge, I'll get that. I think I can get that too, I don't care. What is it? Mm, just register him. And here is the ice path for you. And unfortunately, it's the end of our video. Um, in our next video, I will be... Well, it's because... The reason why I'm stopping here is because it's almost 15 minutes, obviously. And the ice path is a little too long. No homo. But yeah, it, it'll take like over 5 minutes. And I don't want the video going over 20 minutes. So I, don't, I don't feel like I need to do that. So, I'm going to stop here. Oh, quick note. Make sure you bring strength. Rock Smash, no, you don't really need Rock Smash. Make sure you bring strength, alright? So until then, this is Poke Walkthrough 6. Subscribe for more. Peace, biatch.